The cornerstone of any fundamental stock analysis is a company's financial statements. To access them via Guru Focus, simply enter in a ticker symbol in the search bar and scroll down and select 10 year financials. Once on the page, you'll see a company overview at the top, including the ticker symbol, company name, Guru Focus predictability ranking, current price, including percentage of dollar change for the day, any warning signs for the stock, and then a handful of metrics displayed across a horizontal bar graph based on various valuation metrics. It also includes the market cap, current price to earnings and price to book ratio based on the current share price, and also the company's enterprise value. Below that is a very basic interactive chart which by default shows you revenue per share. But you can customize this by clicking the Select a Metric tab, choosing any of the headings, and then selecting any, any metric that you want to see charted across the interactive display. Below that is the full 10-year financial data broken down into several sections. The first is per share data where various metrics are displayed on a per share basis including revenue per share, earnings per share, dividends per share, and a handful of others. Now the rows of this are broken down into years and then finally quarterly. So if you look across the top, you'll see the first set of rows is within this gray heading. That's the annual figures based on the company's fiscal year. And then to the far right side are the actual quarterly numbers of the most recent five quarters. At the end of the annual data, the final heading is TTM, which stands for trailing 12 months. And that represents the total from the most recent four quarters. Below the per share data the financial ratios displayed across the same annual and quarterly periods. Below the ratios section are the actual company financial statements which include the income statement, the balance sheet, and the statement of cash flows. A couple of neat features here are the ability to see annual or quarterly data. So if you're doing very data intensive research you can select the quarterly view here in the top right side of the screen and see a full 10 years of financial history broken down by individual quarter. As we see here, this scrolls all the way back to, in our case, March of 2003, which is 10 years from today's date. You can also graph any of the financial statement line items simply by clicking the gray horizontal row for that item. When we do so, we see two charts appear, one being a quarterly and one being an annual chart, which plot the underlying metric that we've clicked on across, in this case, a full 20 years. The chart on the left side will appear a little bit more smooth generally because it is using only annual data. The chart on the right uses quarterly data, so over the course of this 20 years, we're actually looking at 80 data points versus 20 data points for the annual chart. You can also select the time periods here across the top to display only the most recent 3-year, 5-year, 10-year, or the full data period for this stock. Finally, we scroll to the bottom of the 10-year financial section and you'll see a couple of premium member only features including valuation ratios and the valuation and quality. What this is going to show you is a historical view of how various stocks have been valued on a relative basis. For instance, if we're watching the P-E ratio of the trailing 12 months, we can quickly see over the last 10 years where this stock has typically been valued. In the case of Microsoft, we can see that over the last 10 years, the P.E. ratio has ranged from a low of 9.68 to a high of 38.5, leaving our current P.E. ratio of 14.3 on the low end of its historical 10-year average. As with any other line item, you can also click the row for the P.E. ratio to plot this data across a 15 to 20 year period. And finally, to switch to another stock without having to go back to the search box, simply use the switch to another stock box at the bottom left corner of the screen, put in your ticker symbol, click go, and you will then immediately be taken to the 10-year financials of your new stock. For any other questions, simply hover over the Home tab in the top left corner of the screen and click Tutorials. From here, you will find an endless list of text, video, and PDF tutorials covering almost all aspects of the Guru Focus website.